Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of ocean currents, specifically exploring the highest speeds recorded in the vast expanse of our oceans. Join us as we uncover the incredible power and velocity of these currents. So, let's jump right in. Before we delve into the highest speed records, let's first understand what ocean currents are. Ocean currents are continuous, directed movements of seawater that flow in specific patterns around the globe. They are driven by various factors, including wind, temperature differences, and the Earth's rotation. These currents play a vital role in regulating Earth's climate and distributing heat around the planet. There are two types of ocean currents, surface currents and deep currents. The speed of surface flow is generally higher than that of deep flow. Thus, the currents we are discussing are caused by the wind's force on the ocean surface. Measuring the speed of ocean currents is a complex task that requires specialized instruments and techniques. Oceanographers use a variety of methods, including satellite altimetry, acoustic Doppler current profilers, and moored current meters. These tools help researchers gather data on current velocities, which are crucial for understanding the dynamics of the oceans and predicting their future behavior. How fast do you think the strongest ocean currents travel? The Antarctic Circumpolar Current, also known as the West Wind Drift, holds the title for the fastest ocean current. The exact location of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current varies, but it generally lies between approximately 45 degrees south and 60 degrees south latitude. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current flows from west to east, driven by the westerly winds that blow uninterrupted around Antarctica. Encircling Antarctica, this current flows eastward and can reach impressive speeds of up to 2 to 3 meters per second, 6.5 to 10 feet per second. Its velocity is influenced by the strong westerly winds that blow in the southern ocean, driving the surface waters and creating a powerful and continuous current. The width of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current can vary depending on the specific location and conditions. Generally, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current is quite wide, spanning several thousand kilometers. It is estimated to have a width of approximately 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers, 620 to 1,240 miles, in its broadest sections. Another notable current renowned for its speed is the Gulf Stream. Flowing along the eastern coast of North America, the Gulf Stream transports warm water from the Gulf of Mexico towards the North Atlantic. It can reach speeds of about 1 to 2 meters per second, 3 to 6.5 feet per second, in certain sections. This swift current has a significant impact on weather patterns and marine ecosystems along the coast. The width of the Gulf Stream typically ranges from 80 to 160 kilometers, 50 to 100 miles. However, it is important to note that the Gulf Stream is not a uniform current with a fixed width. It consists of a core of fast-moving water surrounded by eddies and meanders that can extend beyond the core. These meanders can cause the width of the Gulf Stream to fluctuate significantly. While the Antarctic Circumpolar Current and the Gulf Stream take the spotlight regarding speed, other ocean currents deserve mention. The Kuroshio Current Off reaches speeds of up to 1 to 2 meters per second, 3 to 6.5 feet per second. In fact, the Kuroshio Current, also known as the Black Stream, is a warm ocean current that flows northward along the eastern coast of Taiwan and Japan. On average, the width of the Kuroshio Current ranges from 100 to 200 kilometers, 62 to 124 miles. The Agulha current off the eastern coast of South Africa is another fast-moving current with speeds reaching up to 1 to 2 meters per second, 3 to 6.5 feet per second. On average, width of the Agulha current is around 100 to 150 kilometers, 62 to 93 miles. 
The Agoha Current is a warm ocean current that flows along the eastern coast of South Africa, near the tip of the African continent. It is a strong and narrow current that transports warm and salty waters from the Indian Ocean into the South Atlantic Ocean. The swift speeds of these currents have significant implications for marine life, weather patterns, and human activities. Fast currents can affect navigation, ocean shipping, and the dispersal of pollutants or marine debris. They also play a crucial role in shaping coastal ecosystems and the distribution of nutrients and marine organisms. As we conclude our exploration of the highest speeds recorded in ocean currents, we stand in awe of the power and influence of these dynamic forces. From the mighty Antarctic Circumpolar Current to the swift Gulf Stream, Thank you.